if we were going to do the exact same thing over here, we want to choose values that are larger than 9. So we just write limit as x approaches 9 from the right of 5 minus the square root of 9.001 over 9.001 minus 9. And again, guys, we don't need to know the square roots, but it, it can't be that much. If the square root of 9 is 3, the square root of 9.001 cannot be that much larger than 3, right? So 5 minus 3, or 5 minus that number, is still going to be a positive. And then over here, 9.001 minus 9 is equal to a positive. Positive divided by positive is going to be a positive. So we'd write as limit as x approaches 9 from the right is equal to positive infinity. Just want to make sure you guys you guys can see something. I kind of got stuck on my work. Just want to make this note for you guys. I kind of got stuck on my note not being able to go horizontal. So I kind of did everything vertical. But I want you guys to notice something really important that I did. It's a little bit of extra work. But do you guys notice how every single time I rewrote it, I wrote it with the limit? I know I've been lazy sometimes. And I have skipped writing limit notation. But I am going to tell you, if you are doing, like, just get in the habit of 